Hey everyone, let's dive into the fascinating world of real estate law and discover how it shapes the landscape of land development. Break time point five. Real estate law might sound dry, but it's actually the backbone of how our cities and towns grow. Every skyscraper, house, and park starts with understanding these laws. First off, zoning laws. These are crucial. They dictate what can be built and where. Imagine trying to set up a noisy factory right in the middle of a residential area. Thanks to zoning laws, that can't happen. They keep our living areas peaceful and our industrial areas productive. Then, there's the Environmental Impact Assessments, or EIAs. These are reports that must be done before any construction begins. They help ensure that new developments don't harm our environment. Who wants a new shopping center if it means harming the local wildlife, right? We also can't forget about property rights. These laws determine who can develop land and how they can use it. It's all about balancing private property rights with public interest. And if disputes arise, real estate law provides the framework for resolving them. Whether it's a boundary dispute or disagreement over land use, the law steps in to help sort things out. So whether you're a future lawyer, developer, or just someone interested in how cities evolve, real estate law is at the center, ensuring development is fair, sustainable, and beneficial for all. That's a wrap on how real estate law shapes land development. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep those developments legal and smart.